welcome to Lovely Lovebird Designs. In this is how I'm going to show you how to make this super cute Maltese on the rainbow loom. And you can see I gave her a puppy cut. So she's short hair on the body and some hair coming out on the face and a cute little bow and with a little ponytail. And I want to just tell you you can use e-beads for the eyes and you'll be using a scissor at the end to trim up her hair so she's ready for the groomer and it's a single loom and the tail can go up and she's very petite and just super cute i really love this design she came out really nice and i know a lot of my instagram and facebook friends wanted a maltese so here she is okay we can get started okay it's a single loom staggered position arrow facing down you're only going to be using white bands for this dog and they are double bands, so two bands. I put the blue connected all together here to show you the white better on the camera, because if I put it over here, it's a little harder to see the white, so I made a blue background for the white bands. So double band, I'm gonna start at the top and connect these two bands. Okay, and all double. Then we're going to go to the top and go to the right. Then top to the left. And the middle of the dog's face are three stitches. So here's one, two, and three. Then we're going to go to the side of the head. Here's one stitch. And then we're going to stretch from this pin all the way up to here. Okay, then we'll repeat on the left side. I really like how the dog came out and if you, at the end, I'm going to show you how to cut the bands and place them in the specific areas to get this face and it, you'll love it. It looks so cute. So now we're going to do the neck, which is a triple band. So that's three. And now the body is a petite body, so we're going to do double right now from here to here. And then from here to here. So this is the only triple band. And now the middle. The middle is three stitches long, so here's one, two, and three. Now the side of the body, and once again these are all double. And then we're going to connect down here, so it's one, two, three, four, and then we'll do the same on the left side. So one, two, three, four. Now we're going to make the tail and the legs. And we're going to do that on the hook. And it's very simple. We're going to do the tail first. And it's going to be three stitches long. So take a single white, put it on the hook, wrap it around three times. So one, two, and three. Then you're going to take a double, place it on the hook. Put it back on the hook, just like that, so that's one. Then we're going to go number two. And then number three. Okay, that's your tail, and that's going to go right here. Okay, so the legs are one, two, three stitches long also. Same thing as the tail. So take a single, one, two, three, then a double. So it's one stitch, 
two, and three. Okay, and we're going to place it on this pin. Okay, we're going to repeat over here. So take a single, one, two, three. Then take a double. And then two more. Here's number two. And three. And we're going to place it right here. Okay, we're going to do the same back here. So it's just a lot of repetition. So one, two, three. On my other dogs, I always make like a thicker thigh area, but because she's petite, I'm just doing a single leg, just like that. And that came out really cute too, like that too. So I'm just gonna keep it like that. So here's one stitch. Here is number two. And number three. Okay, final leg. One, two, three. Then three stitches. Here's number two and three. And we're going to place it right here. Okay, now let's put structural bands here. It's going to be a single connecting the triangle right here, these three pins, and then another single triangle right here. Okay, now we're going to make the little um, nose. I'm going to use black. Wrap, put it on your hook. I like to make a figure eight and then twist it again, or you can just wrap it around four times. So I'm gonna use a single, cause I, it's gonna be a small nose, and then at the end we're gonna put some bands through it to make it more um, furry. So a single, twist it upon itself, and then place the nose on that single twist. Okay, that's your little nose. Then you're going to take another single, one band, place that on the single, and you're going to place it on this pin. Then it's going to go down. Place it back on that pin. So it's going to look just like that. So these two connected, and your nose is laying right here. And now we're going to make the eyes. You can use e-beads for the eyes or bands. So I'm going to use bands right now. And it's going to be the same as the nose. Do a little figure eight or wrap it around four times. And then twist again. Then another little figure eight. And twist again. So that's my two eyes. I'm going to take a single white. Place the eyes on the white, and then we're going to place it on this pin again, bring it up and above, and place it back on this pin. So these two pins have the nose anchored and the eyes anchored, so it looks just like that. Now we're going to do the ears, and we're going to need a double white. Wrap it around the hook three times. So one, two, three. Then you're going to take a double and then place that on the double. Place it back on the hook. 
Then you're going to take a single, twist it, and then place that on the single twist, and then that's your ear. You can separate the bands a little bit at the top, and then place it right here. Okay, and we're going to bring it up so it's straight up, and then we'll make the second ear, so a double. One, two, three. Then another double. Place that on, back on the hook. Separate the bands. Take a single, twist it upon itself. Place it on the hook. That's another ear, and we're going to place it right here. Ear facing up. This is the layout of your dog. Make sure it looks like this, and now we're going to start looming. Okay? You can pull the tail back, and my top band right now is this guy. So we're going to grab this one. Grab some other bands too. <laughs> okay, I'm going to grab it again and bring it to the left. Okay, now we're going to grab this one. It's one and two. Now we're going to grab this one and loom up to the neck. So now we're going to loom these, th these bands on the side, push these down. I'm only taking this band, not the legs. And we're just looming forward. Okay, now we're going to go to the left, and once again just the bottom. Now the shoulder. Okay, so this is the body, and now we're going to grab the neck. It's a triple band. Okay, so my upper band right now is this one. I'm going to grab that, bring it to this pin. Now my next upper band is right here on the right side. Grab that and bring it to here. And now my middle band, I'm going to bring it right over there. I want my nose to go through it so you don't lose that nose. So it goes through that band. And then I'm going to loom the middle right now. all the way up. Now I'm going to loom the sides. And I'm only grabbing the bottom bands. Bring that ear, and now I'm going to this side. And I'm grabbing that bottom band. Okay, and this is what your layout should look like. Now, to make this little ponytail, I'm using four bands. If you want to use more, you can use more. If you want to use less, you can use less. And then at the end, I cut them. So I'm going to use four right now for the slip knot, and that's going to turn into the ponytail. So I'm going to actually put this through, and I want them to be all the same length. So, because some of them, like here's, it's long, and then if you put it sideways, it's sideways. I want them all 
long, like that. So how I do that, and I also did this technique for my schnauzer tutorial, and I just wiggle it like this and make sure that they're all the same shape. So then I put my hook right through here, put them on the band, on the hook, and then I'm going to make my little slip knot. So I have all four bands, make a little slip knot, pull it taut, and here it is. Okay, now we can slowly take it off the loom. I'm working on the bottom first. Okay, so your nose is right here. You want to keep that nose in the middle of that band. It's getting lost right now, so I'm just going to poke it right through so it's easier to find. There he is. So just keep him in the middle. Okay, you don't need the loom anymore. And now everything else is by hand. So I'm going to put that to the side. So now he looks like cutie patootie, but we're going to make him even more cute. So I'm going to pull the ears up. I'm going to put my finger behind his head and push it out. Make sure the eyes come out. Pull his nose out. You can fix the bands on his nose too if some of them are short and some of them are long. So you can just put your hook right through and just fix it so they're all the same. Stretch out the neck, the body, arms, legs, everything. Now, to make his neck more up like that, put your hook right through that triple band. Pull gently like that, and then it's more up. And now we're going to sew the little body shut. This is what I do with all my dogs. I'm going to take a single and I'll go slowly with this. I'm going to place my hook right through these little shoulder bands. There's going to be two here and two here. So it looks like that. Then I'm going to place my little single right through. Place it back on the hook like that. Then I'm going to make a little slip knot. And then I'm going to sew the body shut. I'm going to go to the next row, which is right here. Then I'm going to take my hook and grab this one again. Bring it through. Pull taut. Then I'm going to go to the next little hind area, and I'm going to pull that single right through, and now my scissor comes into play, so now he's all sewn shut. I'm going to snip the end, then I'm going to hold this one, I'm going to make a little knot, I'm going to find any band on the belly. Find those bands. Then I'm going to pull the end other to anchor it underneath. Then I'm going to just knot it. So now it's anchored and knotted. So I'll do a double knot. And then you can take your scissor and don't cut the body, just to cut the excess off like that. And now he is 3D and super cute. And then the tail, you can bring the tail up, and just bend it, or take your hook and go on like the second stitch of the tail and just pull lightly, pull everything around and it'll go up like that. 
can move it. Okay, and we just put a reddish pink background paper on here so it's easier to see because now we're going to be working with the face to make her look like this. So we're going to turn this into this. And I think with the red um, background, you can see the white of the dog a lot better. And you can see the stitching a lot better too. So we're going to first start, pay close attention to this. We're going to first start and there is this stitch right here. And it's the same on this side. So you can see these two stitches. We're going to take those two little bands right here right there. We're going to place it behind the ear. Okay, and pull that out. Now we're going to go and take this one, place it behind the ear, just like that. So now the ears are more up, and now you can see, you can see this is attached via this single stitch right here that we did. Hold the bottom and just tug it slightly up so it's more on top of the head. So you can pull it, hold it, and just tug slightly up so it's on top of the head. Okay, so now his head is changing shape. So now, when we did the ears, remember this was a double on top, and then it was a double here, and this is the single. We're going to take our hook place it in the middle of this double and we're going to just tug on it in the back and bring it forward so it looks like that so i just brought it a little bit forward so instead of the ear going straight up like this now it's coming forward and you can separate the bands on the top you also don't need the hook for that too i'm going to show you right here Hold that single and just take your finger and just pull it forward. Okay, and that's going to make the ear come forward. And now they're on top of the head and they come out a little bit facing you. You can separate the front. Okay, so that's part of it. Now I'm going to take four bands. Now we're going to have fun at the groomers and actually do some hair cutting and make it like this. And you're going to see how cute she comes out, or he. In this tutorial I'm going to use um, blue jelly bands for the bow. In this one I use pink jelly. You can use any bands you like. You don't even need a bow, too. So I'm going to take four bands. Now remember, they're different shapes and everything, so we're going to try to make them all the same straight shape, same length. So wiggle it, make sure they're all oblong. Hold it. Now I can put I'm gonna put it down for right now. Now we have the nose and there is that single twist right here. I'm gonna place my hook right through that single twist. I'm not placing it through the black. The black is in the front, then my hook is right through the single twist. I'm going to take my four bands, place it on the hook, and pull it through. And then place it right in the middle. So make sure that the four bands are equal on each side. You can move the nose so the nose is in the front. And then I have my, my nose. And move that band too so it's equal. So it looks like that. So I just basically just pulled the four bands through. So then I'm going to take everything else's two bands. So I'm going to put two here. You just get them ready. Two here. So we just made this. I'm going to cut them later. Now we're going to put bands right over here. So, 
there's two stitches on this side of the head and what I'm going to do is take, go underneath, there's one stitch, two stitch. There's a little horizontal band right in the middle. Can take two of those so it looks like that. So I just took this little horizontal band right here. I'm going to make sure that these are long. Same shape, so it's not like one shape is going this way, it's all the same. Then I'm going to place it on my hook. Just pull it through halfway, just like the nose. So we're going to keep it halfway like that. Okay, then we're going to go on this side and do the same thing. Here's my one stitch and here's my two stitch. I'm going to go under and go find that horizontal band from the first stitch, just like that. Take your time with this. So I found that. I'm going to take my two bands again, pull it through. halfway and keep it like that. Now he doesn't look, he needs to go to the groomer so bad, but we're going to add some more. <laughs> so then I'm going to place, so we have these side stitches right here with bands. We have the front right now. Okay. Now we're going to go to this little single twist that we had before and we're going to place two more stitches right there. So. Here is the ear, right here. I'm going to place my hook right underneath this single twist that attaches to the head, right there. I'm going to take two more bands. And then place that underneath it. Okay, make sure it's in the middle, just like that. Okay, now he's getting some shape, and I'm going to get this one right here too, the single twist. Put my hook right under, get my two bands, rearrange my paper, place it through. Keep it in the middle, and now we're going to have fun and cut these bands. can rearrange the ear so he's more up to, however you want that ear. Be careful with the scissor. Make sure you're only cutting the loops at the end, okay? Don't cut your fingers. Just be careful, and don't cut the dog, the regular bands on the dog because then he'll get ruined and it's going to be really sad. Here we're only cutting the loops. So let's start on the bands, that the first ones that we did on the nose, and there's four. So I'm going to just go right through. Here's four on this side. Snip. Then we're going to go to the next four on the other side. Snip. Now let's go to the side of the head. And we had the two bands in the first that we did. I'm going to snip the ends. Snip the ends. Now we'll go to the other side and do those snips. Be careful. Don't cut yourself. And then we're going to snip these on the ear. And then this ear. can move his nose better. Now I want to make a little ponytail so I can move this down. And I have four bands here. 
So you can snip them. And then to make, now we're not done with the face yet because you can also trim this up. But I want to make the ponytail really fast. You know what, let's trim it up too. So if you want him to have long hair like this, you just have to move it around, make sure all the hair comes out. And if you want to trim the hair to be a little bit shorter, because with this one I trimmed it a little bit shorter and more style, that's what I'm talking about, the groomer. You can just trim it a little bit, be careful. Trim it to the length that you want. So if you have some long bands, you can cut them. Be careful of your fingers. I'm going to trim a little bit more on this side. And then if you trim too much, it's so easy, you just take it off and redo it again. You know, this is an easy dog to fix. So if you think it's too short, then just put some more bands in there and trim again. Okay, I'm going to trim a little bit on the top. And he's coming into shape. He's looking super cute. You can move this, this snout around to make him the way that you want. And I'm going to also trim the hair too, but after the ponytail hair. But that's going to be after I do my, my bow. So let me clean this off. Okay, so in this one I used Jelly Pink to make the bow and I used two bands for the bow and one for the tying part and this one I'm going to use, I'm going to make it a little thicker and use three bands and I'm using jelly blue because I want this to be a boy and this one to be a girl so I'm going to make this the same length again I'm using three bands, you can use two or whatever color you want or however you want your bow, if you have a different technique you can do a different technique or you don't even have to have a bow. But I place the three on my fingers just like this. Then I take another band and I basically wrap it around. Let me do it again. Wrap it around the two. And grab it. And then I'm going to make a little knot, a little slip knot. Just like that. And then I have a cute little bow. You can use different colors, anything you like. You can also do that on the loom. So let me show you really fast on the loom. So I'll just put, um, use the white. And I'm going to use three. So if you can't do it by with your hands, you can do it on the loom. So you place your bands right here. And then you can place your hook. Bring it over. And then make your little slip knot. Just like that. So it's like a couple bands here. Make a slip knot in the middle. Take it off. And you got a bow. See how cute and easy that was? So I think it's better to do it on the loom. So let's get going, and then we're going to take the, the bunch, this, this little bunch in the middle, and then I'm going to just wrap it around a couple times. Just a ponytail holder. Take your time with this dog. He does have detail and everything. And you can redo the hair if you don't like a section. And I have my cute little bow. I'm going to place the bow in the front. I'm going to put these hairs in the back a little bit to, show, to showcase the bow. Bring it down, and then the ears come forward. 
move the nose around and then if you want to trim the ponytail you can trim the ponytail too just a little shorter so it's all proportional and I think he came out really cute and then if you think that it's too short you can always you know add more um, bands anything you'd like and then make sure it's all straight, move the nose, and I think he came out cute. So he can stand by himself, his legs go down, you can stretch him out a little bit, and he is adorable. So I really like, I really hope you like this tutorial. Please subscribe, and he had two cute little Maltese's. So once again, if you don't want the hair in the front, you can put it in the back of the ponytail and bring it forward with the bow. However you want to sculpt him. Okay. Thank you. Please subscribe. Bye.